Crumbly is the first parent to be held criminally, criminally responsible for a school shooting committed by their child. She was convicted on four counts of involuntary manslaughter, one for each of the students killed in the Oxford tragedy. She faces a sentence of up to 15 years in prison. We have team coverage for you tonight. Darren Cunningham is standing by in Oxford with reaction from the community. Well, we begin tonight with 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig, who spent days in court covering this case for us. And Kim, we understand that some of the jurors were quite emotional today. Yes, Carolyn and Mike, I could see some of the jurors wiping away tears as the verdicts were read. They certainly had a lot on their shoulders, delivering some justice to so many families. On count one of involuntary manslaughter, as to Madison Baldwin, we find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. On count two of involuntary manslaughter in regards to Tate Muir, we find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Lives hung in the balance and we, we took that very seriously. The thing that really hammered it home is that she was the last adult with the gun. On count three, as to involuntary manslaughter regarding Hannah, Hannah St. Juliana, we find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. And in count four of involuntary manslaughter against Justin Schilling, we find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. The father of Justin Schilling on the verdict. It was a, a long time coming, but it's definitely a, a step toward the accountability like what we've been talking about. Um, it's, it's kind of been our goal the whole time. One thing that continued to resonate throughout the trial was the shooter's state of mind, a very troubled teen who in his journals wrote that he asked his parents for help, but writing that my parents don't listen. You don't deny that in April of 2021, you described your son as being depressed. I didn't describe him as being depressed. I noticed that he was acting depressed. You used the word depressed. Yes, I, he was acting sad. He was acting depressed. I asked Justin Schilling's father what he would say to Jennifer Crumbly. You wouldn't have to go through any of this if you would have just done your job as a parent. You have to adhere to the warning signs and from your children. It appears the jury zeroed in on Jennifer Crumley and her son going to the shooting range just four days before the murders. The jury noting that Jennifer Crumley was the last adult with a gun. On the stand, Crumley claimed storing it was her husband's job. And you don't deny that he wrote in his journal that he now had access to the six hour nine millimeter hammer. I do not deny that. Today's guilty verdicts on four counts of involuntary manslaughter is another step in the two-year-long journey for the families of Justin, Madison, Hannah, and Tate getting justice and accountability. Do your due diligence with your child. It is your choice to have a child, and you cannot choose to not take care of your child. You cannot choose to not nurture your child. You cannot choose to... Um, take your own interest over your child, especially when it comes to mental health. And Jennifer Crumley is set to be sentenced in April. Her husband's trial, Mike, on the same four counts of involuntary manslaughter is set to take place next month. Back to you. All right, Kim, and certainly a warning for parents around the country tonight. Thank you. Carolyn?